Here is a herring. Here is a herring. That's a herring. Here is the herring. Hi guys, uh, today is March 2nd, uh, 2021 and I thought today I wanted to talk to you about uh, winning fish on uh, two desirable feeds. Oftentimes fish come to us and they feed on things that uh, we have to change either for health reasons or for uh, price reasons or whatnot, for quality reasons and uh, I'm gonna briefly talk about about five ways or five tricks that people usually use to accomplish this. One is uh, fasting, another one is uh, luring, the third one I call monkey see monkey do, the fourth one is uh, smell masking, and the fifth, fifth one is handing. So fasting is, uh, is when you let fish fast or starve it a little bit for, uh, for it to develop an appetite strong enough to partake of the new feeds that you're offering it. Uh, for example, in the case with the redfish that we have just gotten, Clifford, I was offering it uh, cut pieces of thawed herring for three weeks, but he wouldn't take them. And uh, we're gonna talk about them a little bit later, how we successfully wind him onto the herring. In another extreme case, uh, I had a Jurian's catfish, Brachyplotistoma Jurian's, or false TIG catfish, that uh, I, had more, I had to more or less fast for six months before it broke down and uh, accepted the new feed. It was so uh, stubbornly holding on to wanting to just live goldfish or, or live feeder fish. Uh, the second one is uh, what I call luring, is pretty much mimicking what we do when we angle for a predatory fish. We attach a lure and then uh, pull it through the water. So here you uh, attach what you want your fish to feed on, such as a thawed, frozen thawed uh, fish, fortified with vitamins and minerals. And then uh, you loosely and lightly attach a string to it and let it bubble in the tank current or uh, or uh, something like that. You can bubble it by hand. Try that. The third one is uh, what I call monkey see, monkey do, is when people use uh, training fish, training tank mates. They introduce training tank, ma tank mates with the fish, with the target fish in the tank. Uh, an example of this would be, uh, it's common, uh, to see people use uh, tinfoil barbs to train African tiger fish to take pellets. When a fish sees, uh, when the tiger fish sees uh, tinfoils taking pellets greedily and easily, eventually it, it learns to recognize the pellets as food. Uh, the fourth one is the uh, what I call smell masking, which is pretty obvious. Uh, you're just trying to mask the smell of the new kind of feed uh, and pass it, pass it off as if it's the old feed. So uh, an example of this would be pre-soaking uh, pellets in, uh, blood, in the bloodworm juice. If the fish takes bloodworms easily and happily but, but refuses pellets. 
And the fifth one, which we're going to talk a little bit more about, uh, is what I called handing. Handing means uh, you directly hand the food to fish. You either drop it right in, in front of it, or uh, you can even hand feed it underwater, whatever. But this is uh, about training fish to, to take feed from, from your hand, or from tongues, or from a stick, like a bamboo stick. And uh, let's say one, in one example you want to convert a fish that, was, that you bought or was given to you that only accepts, that was fed live feeder fish, such as uh, rosy reds or uh, goldfish, and you want to convert it to pallets. So what you do is you give this fish uh, the live feeder, either with your hand or with tongs or with a stick first, pretty much hand, hand it to it and then until it learns to take it from your hand or from your tongues. Then uh, you can give it, give the uh, feeder fish dead, frozen or unfrozen, doesn't matter, thawed, or uh, you don't have to freeze it, as long as it's dead, you can hand it to your, uh, to your pet. The next step is uh, you can pre-soak pellets in the feeder fish juice or slime, and then, uh, you know, use your hand or uh, drop it use your hand or use your tongues to uh, to hand it to your uh, to the target fish and then eventually you can start transitioning to the as is pellets and see if the fish takes them uh, in another example for example if you if you like with Clifford with the redfish the uh, subject of this video uh, it came to us trained to take pellets and I wanted to transfer it to frozen fortified cuisine, fish. And uh, the prior keepers have done a great job conditioning uh, Clifford to take uh, pellets, pretty much from, you, you drop it in the water, it's already waiting for them to be dropped in the water and, and it snatches them right away. Here is Massivore. Here is NLS. And uh, what I have done, as I, as I, what I started with, I tried to give it uh, herring pieces and nothing else, and it wouldn't take any. And it wasn't recognizing me as a keeper, and it wasn't waiting for me to take the feed. So uh, one thing that the prior owners have done very well, and it, uh, for my purpose, is that they taught the fish to associate their keeper with the feed. See how excited he is, and this uh, rocking back and forth, left and right, looks like begging, saying I'm hungry, have a good appetite, feed me. Here is another example with the koi.
when I uh, they gave me also a little bit of massive ore, which is uh, massive ore pellets were what they what they fed Clifford before. And uh, once I start dropping massive ore in there, it quickly remembered the routine and started recognizing massive ore, and it snatched them right away, as you saw from uh, prior videos. So I had no problem there. It revived its instinct, its learned behavior very easily and quickly. And after that, I transitioned little by little to NLS pellets, giant NLS pellets, new life spectrum. Um, and in between, I also started giving it uh, small pieces of herring, like a quarter or a, even a smaller sliver, trying to get it to just snatch it, thinking it's a pellet. And the success was about 50-50, but then eventually it got to about 100%. So the fish was snatching everything I gave it. So little by little, I started giving it like a quarter inch, uh, a quarter of a herring, then half of a herring, and our herrings are about six to eight inches long. And then two thirds, and then a hole. And uh, Clifford eventually learned very well to take uh, whole herring as you will see from this or uh, as you as you can see from this video so those are in short there's the herring down it goes the whole thing So those are, in short, five ways of weaning fish onto the feeds that you want it to take, as opposed to what it's used to, to take. And um, of course, uh, for the final thoughts, I want to stress the importance of balanced nutrition. And uh, it has to be balanced with respect to the specificity of the fish, whether it's a herbivore, omnivore, or a carnivore. And uh, the diet must contain all the essential nutrients that a fish needs to thrive, which is why uh, for our predators and omnivores, we pre-soak our herring and glass minnows and uh, pilchards, whatever we th frozen thought fish we give our fish, we pre-soak it in uh, Vitacam to fortify the feed with uh, necessary vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients. All right, thank you guys for watching as always. Until next time, bye.